Yesterday and today, police provided full assistance to the plaintiffs and bailiffs in executing the injunction orders along Argyle Street and Nathan Road. As mentioned in yesterday's press statement, police also used other powers conferred by the Lord to clear the obstructions at various locations in Mong Kok, including the road junction on Portland Street and Argyle Street, Sayan Choi South Street and Sandton Street, and Nathan Road and Sandton Street. As you can see from the media footages and reports, some illegal road occupiers had openly defined the Lord and disregarded the court orders by obstructing the plaintiff and bailiff in the execution of the injunction orders. Subsequently, at the request of the bailiff, police assisted in the execu execution of the injunction orders, removed the obstacles, dispersed and arrested the protesters who continued to illegally occupy the roads. However, police faced strong resistance. In the course of assisting in the execution of court orders, police arrested a total of 55 persons, eight between 14th and 69th, for the offenses of criminal contempt of court and obstructing a public officer in execution of duty. Last evening, a large group of protesters unlawfully assembled on Portland Street. They then moved to the areas of San Shanghai Street, Sandung Street, Reclamation Street, and Ferry Street to continue with the unlawful assembly and blockage of roads. They used iron railings and wooden pallets to create barricades and created chaos. Some even threw bamboo poles and miscellaneous items at our officers and caused physical confrontations. To preserve public order and public peace, police took resolute actions to disperse and arrest these people. As a result, 93 persons, including 89 males and four females, were arrested for their offenses of resisting arrest, disorderly conduct in a public place, possession of offensive weapons, unlawful assembly, assaulting police, and obstructing police, etc. In the possession of offensive weapon case, the arrested male was found in possession of an axe, a metal hammer, and a coal bar. Police will investigate all the cases seriously and collect evidence with a view to laying criminal charges accordingly. In the operations in these two days, 22 police officers were injured. Police condemned the violent acts of the radical protesters who disrupted public order, defined the court orders, and undermined the rule of law. I note there are misleading accusations that police officers had advanced the check lines without issuing warnings beforehand and used unnecessary force. I must clarify that these allegations are totally untrue and unfounded. In the operation yesterday, police had issued repeated appeals, advice, and warnings as seen to the protester through making public announcements and displaying warning banners to urge them to leave. Police also provided sufficient time for the illegal road occupiers who were unlawfully assembling there to leave, but they refused to comply. I must stress that police have made it clear on numerous occasions that if any person blocks the reopened roads or attempts to block other roads, police have the responsibility to take rescue action to maintain the public order. Police have the determination and ability to restore public order and protect public safety. Regrettably, some people put up excuses, excuses that Portland Street is not covered in the injunction order in an attempt to distract others from the fact that they were engaged in an unlawful assembly. They used this excuse to call on more people to occupy roads in Mong Kok and to put up strong resistance against police enforcement actions. 
such acts were totally irresponsible and full of twisted facts. Some radical protesters and troublemakers had continued to incite others to charge the police cordon, verbally abuse and physically confront our officers. Some even threw umbrellas, miscellaneous objects, water bottles, and unknown powders at our officers. They blatantly defined the law, disregard the wish and interests of the general public. These radicals continued to scatter to different areas, block sections of roads, and disrupted public order. These radical individuals and protesters took no heed of the warnings. They continued to unlawfully assemble, block the roads, and charge our officers violently. With no other alternatives, police took resolute actions by using the minimum level of force necessary, including the use of pepper spray, pepper-based solution, and baton to stop the violent and unlawful acts of these radicals and to disperse and arrest them as well. Police reiterate that injunction orders are solemn orders issued by the court. Police urge all protesters not to employ illegal means to express their views. This is unacceptable to the general public. If anyone attempts to block the reopened road or other sections of roads or to disrupt public order, police are duty bound to take rational actions and to exercise our powers to safeguard the public order and public safety. Now the traffic lanes on Argyle Street and Avon Road are reopened. If any person plans or attempts to occupy other roads or places, police will take resolute actions to restore order. If necessary, operations to reopen any blocked road will continue. I reiterate that police have the determination and capability to strictly enforce the laws so as to enforce so as to restore public order and protect public safety. Now, let's talk about the traffic situation.